wrong, I'm a pretty big fan of Captain America myself. <laughs> I know what you're all thinking. Where is Santa Pool? You're not Santa Pool. Well, unfortunately, Santa Pool got stuck shimmying down someone's tight little chimney. Yeah, so you're gonna deal with the standard edition Disney Pool OG right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you can cheer. No, you can cheer. Yeah. Don't worry, this still falls under the FCU blanket. That stands for Feige Cinematic Universe. I know, I'm still workshopping that acronym. I feel like there's one too many letters, don't you? Well, anyway, let's get started, shall we? Today's story is a classic bedtime tale. And it's pulled straight from the public domain, so we can't be sued. This one's called Little Red Deadpool. And, by the way, it is technically sponsored by Disney+. Plus. Mm -hmm. That's right, everybody. Disney Plus is paid to keep a little old story time around for the holidays. Finally, a streaming service that understands quality content. I'm Deadpool, and you're watching Disney Plus. Oh <laughs> Alright. Well, now that I feel extra dirty from all the pandering, let's get to the actual story, shall we? Once upon a time. You know what? It just feels wrong when I'm doing it with myself. Why don't we all say it together, shall we? Three, two, one. Once upon a time. See, wasn't that fun and interactive? Well, anyway, upon that time, once, Little Red Deadpool set off to bring her sickly grandmama a delicious basket of churros. You see, Little Red's grandma lived alone. Not in a nice, clean, assisted living facility like where most Mimas are forced to live in against their will, no. <laughs> Little Red's grandma lived alone in a creepy cottage in the middle of an even creepier, desolate forest. Because what could go wrong? Oh, this seems dangerous, thought Little Red to herself. So naturally, she went into the forest anyway so that children could learn from her mistakes for hundreds of years. A real after-school special kind of cautionary tale. Well, anyway, Little Red skipped majestically throughout the forest, right past some exposition, before finally arriving at Grandmama's cottage. When she opened the door, she saw her grandmother lying down on a very nice four-poster bleach mahogany bed. Grandmama! Wow, I brought you a delicious basket of churros! Little Red's grandma was looking pretty weird, freakish even, and it wasn't because of the weight loss drugs, no, it wasn't because of that. <laughs> it was because Little Red's grandma was actually the big, bad wolfie in disguise. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this guy's scared. No, I saw you ah. answer. You did. <laughs> oh, grandmama! Wow, that child is really scared. All right, <laughs> All right that, that's quite enough. Yeah. <laughs> I've already kind of overdone it a little bit. Grandmama, what blue eye contacts you have? The uh, cannon. Oh. oh, wow, Grandma, what a retro comic accurate costume you finally have. Shut up, pup. <laughs> and Grandma, what big claws you have? Are those vibranium? <laughs> no! They're on a manium! Shame! <laughs> huh? Wait a minute, Grandma's not Australian! <laughs> <laughs> Little Red broke off a piece of churro, dropped her basket, whipped off her cloak, took a bite of that delicious churro, and then brought down her katanas in an egg shape formation. Not as an easter egg, but more of just a stylistic choice. Bring it on, Peanut! They action leaped at each other. Huge fight. It was awesome. Oh, they smashed through that elite mahogany bed, but no one got a splinter. Claws and katanas tore through the mattress, and there was CGI hay everywhere. Which, as you can imagine, is like 300,000 times more expensive than regular hay, but this is the Disneyland Resort registered trademark. We like to go all out here. Speaking of going all out, once both fighters were finally fatigued from the battle's mutually incredible climax, they both slumped down to the ground, exhausted. Churro, 
ask Little Red, I'm now in her regular voice because falsettos are hard and I'm getting kind of lightheaded. <laughs> sure, he replied. And so they shared that churro. In fact, they shared it Lady in the Tramp style, actually. Before gazing around at all the destruction and CGI straw left in their wake. <coughs> Say, Logie Bear, I bet we could fix this place up nice. I think Grammy would be willing to sell, don't you? Say, uh, where is Grandmama, anyway? She's, uh, on vacation. Huh. Well, that's not ominous or foreboding in any way. In fact, I trust you fully. We should be roommates. Yeah! And so they were roommates. Little Red was the top bunk, and Wolvie was obviously the bottom. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. Oh, thank you for saying that with me. Wow, thank you. These children are very excited. Wow, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, children. You've had a lot of sugar today, huh? No chaperones in sight. You love to see it. All right, well, anyway. The moral of this story, children, is a pretty obvious one, actually. It's spend more time with your grandmas. Seriously, she'd really be able to tell the difference between some old, decrepit grandmother and a huge jacked man. A huge jackman, if you will. Don't encourage me, please. Well, anyway, that's my last scheduled show of the day, and I gotta go check my DMs. That stands for Deadpool Messages. Patent pending. Thank you all for coming to another illustrious story time with your new favorite Disney princess.